I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for participating actively, contributing in writing comments and excellent questions. The question here is, the length of a rectangle is twice its width. If its area is 288 centimeters square, find its width. So let's sketch one rectangle here. Opposite sides are of equal length. So let us say that width is W. So these two sides will be W and length be L. What we are given here is length of a rectangle is twice is width. That means length L is two times width, right? That is the meaning of twice its width. Now, second statement is if its area is 288 centimeters square, area is given to us as 288 centimeters square. Find its width. Now, what is area of a rectangle? We know area of a rectangle is length times width. Correct? That is area of rectangle. Now, we know area is 288, so let me write instead of A, 288, so 288 is the area. We have two variables, length and width. Let's write length as 2W. See, in the first statement, we defined our variables, length and width, right? And we related them. We are saying length is 2 times width. So, I replace this length with 2 times width. And we already have times width here. Correct? So I have done this substitution with 2w for length. Now let me divide this by 2. So we get 288 dividing both sides by 2. And on the right side, we get w times w is w square. Right? Square of the width. 288 divided by 2 is 144. So 144 is square of the width. So what is the width now? So I hope you can calculate. Perfect. Let's rewrite. So we are saying width square is 144. To find width, we'll square root both sides. So we'll say W is square root of 144. You can use calculator and when you use, you'll get 12 as your answer. You know 12 times 12 is 144. So that is your answer. So we can write our answer as width equals to 12. Don't forget to write units, centimeter. Is that correct? So that is how you should be doing it. Now, my question to you is, let me write down my question here. Question is, find its perimeter. Okay, so that is what you need to figure out. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.